Okay, I was proceeding, uh, that's east on Anthony Road, coming back from Macon College. I was in this lane here, pretty much right along that, that white line right there. That is part of a worn out crosswalk. The lady that, that turned into me, she was coming in the opposite direction, but making a left turn there. And, you know, I don't know what was going on with her and her, and her vehicle until the very last moment. Uh, I mean, this is imprinted in my head that at that very last moment, that, that split second before she actually hit me, I saw her and she looked like that, you know, like suddenly she was aware was what was about to happen, right? As I'm starting to move, be thrown that way, I had to, I see her, one of her front wheels, her left front wheel, is actually coming over my, my front wheel. My injury, I've got some bruises and some scrapes. It's a superficial scrape there, and I've got one here, and that a little, some kind of uh, discomfort in my knee. And again, I'm real cautious. I try to be real cautious and alert going in and out of an intersection because people are turning from many different directions, right? I mean, I, that people will come here and I'll be coming along here and somebody will pass me and turn right in front of me. You could have the best bike lane in the world right here, but if, if the drivers aren't paying attention, then then the, the bike facility, the or, or the uh, the good pedestrian crosswalk, is to no avail, really. Uh, some serious, ongoing, strict enforcement of the rules of the road by the police department. That is, I think, the the the, the quickest way to bring about behavior change.